texture swimming and texture sticking is a reaction to your uh, construction history to your texture operator. So if we go down and open up our texture projection and look at our texture operator, that's this guy right here. Your texture operator is generated whenever you do a new projection and is important in order to do the texture swimming effect. So let's look at the texture swimming effect. We can um, easily do the texture swimming effect by selecting our texture projection, making sure we have the right one active, then going under the rendering menu set and going to projection swim. Now whenever I move my points around you can see that I'm getting a swimming effect uh, with my UV. So if I were to uh, let's say grab uh, this edge to match the edge of the window here I'm able to grab it and slide it without a problem. So that's a texture swimming effect but sometimes um, um, you're going to want that sticking effect that you normally have uh, when you move points around on your UVs. So in order to do that you select your, you make sure you have your projection selected and go to uh, projection stick. So now with that if we select another edge so we grab this edge and then move it you can see that our texture is sticking. Just an interesting note if I were to um, make this swim again projection swim and then I move my, uh, whenever I move my edges, you can see that it's uh, what's going on. It's offsetting the move of my geometry by moving the UVs as well. Okay. If I were to um, freeze my texture projection, um, I'm going to lose my texture operator and I'm going to lose the ability to um, enable texture swimming. So if I try texture projection, swim, you can see I no longer have that uh, the ability to make things swim. So that's texture swimming and texture sticking.